What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the shop and it is definitely, definitely hot. Uh, I've got the trailer right here about ready to paint. I'll take you out here and show you this real quick. Uh, at least on the bottom side. Got it all cleaned off again. Uh, still a little bit of stuff here, there, and yonder. Uh, dirt, you'll never get it all off, but for the bottom side of a trailer, it's clean as it's going to get. Anyway, I've got the... Uh, paint in here I'm fixing to mix and uh, get ready to see if I can spray it before it gets dark I don't know a whole lot about paint but I'll show you what I got tell you where I got it got this off of eBay from this guy here and it comes with uh, the hardener and the reducer and it does not come with a mixing cup uh, but it does come with some paint sticks there and some strainers. Uh, so I've got uh, everything. I'm fixing to mix this up. It's eight parts. It says mix eight parts paint to one part hardener and one to two parts reducer. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. You just go over here on your paint cup right here to eight to one line. You pour your paint first, however much you need to whichever one of these numbers. And then you add your hardener, it go up to that same number. So if you want nine paint, you go to nine there. And then you put your uh, reducer in and going up to nine. Uh, anyway, not too big a deal. So I'm going to do that and uh, get everything set up, set you guys up. And then we're going to try to get a little bit of paint on this project uh, this afternoon, at least on the bottom side, because it's going to be drying. Man, it's so hot out here. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work, but I want to try to get this uh, get this done. So I'm going to set you guys up over there, and uh, we'll get started. Oh man! Step one is I've got to open the jug and uh, start the paint up. Could have shook it, I guess. Probably would have helped, but I made a bigger mess when I took the lid off. I'll just use the old stir stick here. Stir it around for a little bit, I guess. I don't know how good a paint this is as far as quality-wise compared to, say, Rust-Oleum or whatever. I'm hoping it's better because it's about three times as expensive as what I could have got Rust-Oleum for. I think Rust-Oleum is about 30 something dollars a gallon and this is like a hundred. So I'm hoping it'll last a lot longer than what uh, the Rust-Oleum does that, that most people use. But whether it does or not, who knows. Anybody knows anything about paint, leave in the comments. Let me know your experience with uh, this paint. If you've got something you painted with this paint or something like it.
All right, guys, I have used uh, the whole gallon, the first gallon there, and I lied, it did come with a couple mixing cups right here. I didn't dig far enough in the box to find them, but uh, it actually does, this kit actually does come with two mixing cups, apparently. But I had another one anyway, and I didn't see one when I first opened the box, so I thought it didn't come with some. Uh, so, anyway, I used that one. But I like a little bit on the bottom side out here. I'll take you out here and show you what I like. I had to wait and late to, uh, wait till it cooled off some last night. It's so hot out here that you can see some of the spots I've missed and whatnot. It is on the bottom of the trailer, so it's not that big a deal. And it doesn't have to be a you know a perfect hundred percent you know coverage. You just want to keep the rust down. So. Uh, I'm going to mix up a little bit more of the top side. I'm thinking shouldn't take as much as the uh, bottom is because the bottom's got all those beams and stuff and the top really just has the side rails and the neck and the plates over the fenders. So I'm going to mix up some more and spray that and it's hot out here, but I'm going to do that and then uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so I uh, painted some more on it and I still missed a few spots, believe it or not but I think I'm gonna call it good enough and I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, at least four tires on here because as I say I don't have the valve stems for the others but uh, turn you around here and you can see there's still a few spots here there and yonder that's a whole lot better than it was but I'm gonna put four tires on it I think and go ahead and see if I can flip this thing back over and I was going to work on the wires and stuff, but I think I can probably just get this thing flipped over, get some tires on it, and I'll be able to back it in the shop and I can lay on a creeper and do uh, fix those wires and stuff down there. I want to go ahead and uh, get it flipped back over so I can uh, steam clean the top side and paint the top side and let it be dried before we have the next rain come in. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I will worry about the lights. As I say, I can back it in the shop and do that. Uh, I don't think it'll be that difficult as long as I'm backing on the concrete in there and, and get up under it and whatnot. So uh, I think that's the plan for now. I've got the tires here. I'm gonna pick out the four best tires here and put on the inside and I'm gonna put the new tires on the outside. So uh, I'm gonna set you guys up over here and we'll get some tires mounted on there and we'll see if we can flip this thing back over.
installing these lug nuts backwards on here so I can suck them up flush to the rim just to hold these insides on for now. They actually go the other way and it's got a ring that goes in here, but I'm not doing that right now. Alright guys, time for the moment of truth if I can turn it back over. even more sketchy than flipping it over the first time I almost run out of room here I'm up against my my pickup over here and if you could see in the video the left rear tire of the tractor was off the ground a good portion of the time did get it flipped back over though <laughs> so now it's got to be uh, steam clean some more and uh, go ahead and paint the top side so I'm gonna see if I can get this thing moved back over here in the center of the shop here uh, out of this doorway I suppose or I'm not sure it really matters that much could just move the front over just a little bit and leave it right there might be all right Well, she's flipped back over. I'm going to leave it right here in the middle of this bay door because uh, I can't pull anything in the shop anyway. I have so much junk in there, so it's not really hurting anything. Uh, looking at the tires here, the top of the tires, I've got about four inches uh, on top of them here with the suspension almost all the way down right there, as you can see. Oh, it's uh, pointed uphill this way. So... We'll check that out again whenever we get it uh, in the shop and leveled out. And we'll check and see how much clearance we got 
I'm thinking we're gonna have around five inches. We'll check the uh, the deck height on it and everything uh, once I get to the point that we can get it in the shop and, and get everything leveled out. But right now, what I want to do is steam clean all this, get all the dirt, uh, loose paint and everything off, and then we're gonna come back and paint the top side of uh, this here that I couldn't get to and everything and finish that all up. And uh, then we will uh, probably start working on the lights and the brakes, get the brakes wired up. I haven't wired those up yet. And uh, then we'll get back to it from there, I guess. All right, guys, so I've got the trailer prepped for paint pretty well, uh, as best it's gonna get anyway. I've got it steam clean, removed all the, the loose paint and uh, everything. So I'm gonna try to get some paint on this thing while it's hot outside so it can dry. We got some rain supposed to be coming in this afternoon. So uh, I've got the hitch here as well and the ramp bars that are built. Got to get the paint mixed up, get it on there. Hopefully we have a good five or six hours for it to dry enough that the rain uh, that's supposed to be coming this afternoon, whether it actually gets here, it may be late, but uh, I'm gonna get some paint on this so we can be drying and curing and then uh, we'll be ready to uh, finish the rest of it, hopefully next weekend maybe.
Alright guys, so I'm sitting there editing this video and uh, at some point during the painting of the trailer my camera overheated and uh, shut itself off so that's all the footage that I was able to recover is right there where, where this clip ends so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up uh, it's getting quite long anyway looks like and so you will have to wait to the next uh, video to see what the finished product looks like or well not the finished product but the finished paint job I suppose it could have turned out better in my opinion but I did kind of go cheap by not using primer and whatnot but uh, I'll point that out and uh, the upcoming videos that we still like on this project so anyway if you're interested in seeing more uh, if you're not already subscribed click the subscribe button uh, thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video